Hello everyone, today I'm gonna teach you how to register for a course. So the first of all, like I'm gonna tell you the date of course registration. Um, the course registration is available like every day from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. The registration, registration date for freshmen is August 20, Thursday. Uh, students who could not register a single course, uh, they can register like w within the period from August 25th to September 4th. Uh, you can only choose one day like within the period and it excludes weekends. Uh, the course correction period is September 10 and 11. Uh, so, like in it, it, you can register the course using your personal computer, or if you don't have a personal computer, you can use the computers at the university. You can use the room 204 and 205 at Yonggu. Guan Yonggu building from August 19 to August 21 and the time is f from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. There is also a uh, information briefing organized by Vietnam Student Association which will be conducted on August 21 p.m. at Yonggu building room 204 uh, in order to check the guide in detail you can click click the link on the ppt so how do you s do register a course at first you need to access our university's homepage that is kw.ac.kr and then click on class up Tongbo service and then after you do that um, you should log in and if you are logging it for the first time or if you don't know your student ID then you have to click gain bono toy and then you'll see this pop-up and in this pop-up you need to fill your name in Korean and the Korean name must be same as the name you wrote on your application letter w when you got admitted to this university and uh, the format of date of birth is uh, year month and day with the total of six digits and after you have entered your information you can just click come search and you'll see your student number uh, next is like if you're lo logging in for the class for the first time you need to register a password so in order to register a password you go to class and like you can see the login page in the login page on the uh, bottom right you can you can see the pimil pono twisto tungno uh click there and um, click there and you can enter the details and you can enter the details and register a new password and like after after you have done it, uh, I'm sorry. <coughs> after you have received a temporary password, you have to log in with that password and res register a new password immediately. And the password must be nine to ten characters, and it must contain numbers, English alphabet letter, and a special character. Uh, and if your phone number or email has changed after the time of admission, then you have to contact to the Office of International Affairs. 
or if you forgot your password then uh, you can you can uh, recover your password by going to the class homepage and clicking on Bimil Bono Taki and then you have to verify your phone number and then you will get a temporary password and you can change your password again so in order to register a course you need to download a course registration program in order to download the course registration program you need to log into class and then on the class you if you go to the menu you can see under the Dehak Sengwal menu you can see Sukang Sinsong program if you click on that then you'll see this page and uh, look, you, ha you just click download and then um, by the way this this program only works on Windows computer it doesn't work on Mac so you need to have a Windows PC in order to register a course so after you have downloaded and installed the program click and open the program it's the name of the program is in Korean it's called the Hak Sugang uh, after you have opened the program you will see the screen in this screen you should copy the verification code code you, s you see on uh, with the red red numbers that's the verification code and then on the right side you have to enter your student number and your password and click login uh, so in order to register our course you need to search for a course that you wanna like register so in order to in order to like search for the courses you can start doing it you can start doing it from the midnight that's 12 a.m. Um, after you have searched the courses you can uh, add it to the favorites so first so in order to how, how to add to the favorite so first you need to search the name of the course and then you need to choose the course and then you need to choose the number of favorite and then click click and click Chilgyo Taki Tuga. Um, so, in order to see the list of courses, you can you have to go to the Kwangun University homepage. And on the homepage, you can see Kongjisang. Uh, that's notice board. If you click on Kongjisang, then you will see a search bar there. You need to search Sugang Sintong in Korean and then you can see the notice of Sugang Sintong Taryu Chip or you can simply click on the PPT as shown on the screen um, and then you can see the list of courses according to the department or like you can download the whole list at once also the time the class time the courses time can be changed so you need to frequently check the notice board so these are the things to remember while applying for a course so there are all the courses which is just available for international students so in order to check the courses which is available for international students you can simply click the link the green link and you can see the list of courses available for international students also there are korean language courses from for international undergraduate students um but like students who did not submit topic level four at the time of admission are required to take two to four Korean courses so so in order to in order to 
check the arrangement of your classes you can simply click the blue link on the screen also you don't have to register the Korean language courses like it, it will be registered by the Institute of International Education in bulk and students cannot apply for the courses by themselves also while choosing all the courses you should keep in mind that your Korean language courses will, will not overlap with the other courses so be careful while taking all the courses so if you've already added your courses if you already added the courses you want to take into your favorites then you have to register for the course so in order to do that you have to click Kwamok Toy and then after and then you, you will the information about the course will be seen on the left side of the program and then after that you can click Sugang Sinchong that means to register for a course and you have to do that for the each course on the favorites list so but there are cases where the classes are full so if you really want to take that class then you can apply again during the course registration period which will be from September 10 to September 11 it's gonna be from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. thank you that was the course registration guide if you have any questions or inquiries then you can always contact the Office of International Affairs. Thank you.